In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use virtual protractors and ruler. Here, I'm going to be showing you how to use the protractors. So I'm, I'll start by introducing to you my virtual protractors. So we have a 180 degree protractor and a 360 degree protractor. So we're going to grab the protractor, click on the fourth, um, the fourth feature from the left on the bottom front of you or number four on the keyboard on your laptop and click on the protractor and just rotate it if uh, you want to adjust your um, protractor so in here we position it on the zero and measure your angle so it is roughly 28 degrees so just grab the protractor again click on the pen uh, which is number one on your keyboard and that's 28 degrees now we're going to move the screen so i'm just clicking number five on my keyboard or fifth feature from the left and so move the screen grab your protractor again and rotate it to position your protractor so it should be on the zero so you need little careful movements to make it accurate and you measure your angle so zero here and this roughly 64 degrees so just grab that one click on your pen and you can label it as 64 degrees now we have a reflex angle here which we want to measure so we're going to grab the 360 degrees so click on number four on your keyboard and grab the 360 degrees and put the uh, protractor where the zero is and uh, grab the top right corner again the one with the circle to rotate it and you should find zero which is there now read your angle clockwise so that's going to be uh 200 about 285 degrees so you're gonna uh, write the angle 285 degrees you can also use the protractor to measure bearings so I'm going to move the screen and go to the bearing so that's not over 180 so we can use the 180 degrees protractor so grab it again clicking on the uh, arrow highlight the uh, protractor and rotate it so that your zero is on the north because we're doing bearings so the zero is on the north so read um, from zero here your boat is roughly 121 degrees from the north so one to one so just put it on one side and label 121 degrees you can also use your protractor for measuring um pie chart so you're going to grab the protractor again move your screen by clicking on number five on your keyboard and highlight the protractor rotate it by grabbing the top right corner and move it so that the zero will be on the line where you want to measure your uh, angle from and you have your zero so you just measure your angle so from zero read from the top so that's 139 degrees and there so it's 139 degrees and that is for the protractor now we can also use the ruler the virtual ruler on this page so if you want to calculate for areas or perimeters or whatever measurement you want to do you can have the ruler okay so just take the top off and grab the ruler and the same as with the protractor you rotate it by grabbing the top right corner of your when you highlight the ruler and you measure it so that's a zero there and just position your ruler so you have uh, about 6.4 centimeters 
let's say centimeters anyway so we'll just say that is in centimeter and then you have your base you want to measure your height so again uh, click on the arrow and highlight your ruler rotate it measure the sides and you have about 5.5 centimeters and then you can solve for your area then which is base times height and that's 6.4 times 5.5 so we can also use this to measure perimeters so just grab your ruler again and rotate it to whatever position you're measuring your side from and you have 6.5 degrees not degrees centimeters and you can do, do the same through all the sides then you get your perimeter okay i hope that helps and thank you for watching